Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Mike here from Tradewinds RV. We're going to be doing a walkthrough on your 2018 Zinger by Crossroads. You got your hitching installed, brand new Camco battery box and battery, Ram 3500 power tongue jack with docking light. This is solar prepped. It's a 10 amp solar charge. Storage on each side. You have stabilizer jacks on each corner of the unit. This is a Ram slide out, so you can lubricate this gear rack here. It's already pre lubed for you here today. I done the prep I had lubricated it for you here's your gray tank dump bell for your kitchen sink here's your black valve on the left gray on the right for your bathroom this is your 30 amp power cord this has an outside shower this is a sewer flush strictly for the black tank city water connection rear stabilizers sewer hose storage in the back bumper. This is a cable inlet. It's pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. You got the spare tire mounted. This has got an outside shower or outside kitchen area. LED strip on the awning, LED speakers. This is a power awning. This is your access panel to your refrigerator for service. Here's your furnace exhaust. You got 110 receptacles on the outside. This is a cable output from your antenna or cable that's plugged in through the inlet. Fresh water fill. Fresh water drain. Six gallon Atwood water heater. This is gas and electric. And we're gonna head inside now. You got your fire extinguisher located right by the door. You got a closet area that has its own light. Just got to turn it on manually. Get these attachments for broom handles. There's your monitor panel. It's got all your battery, a fresh and black tank levels, your water heater controls and water pump, all your lights, exterior lights, interior accents, slide control, awning control, Here's your thermostat for your AC and furnace. Light switch is right on the wall. Got a GFCI receptacle in the bathroom. This is a porcelain toilet. It's got the side flush. It's a dual foam shower liner. It's ducting for AC. You have a built in fan. Dual bunks. 12 volt plug in on the top. 110 receptacle on the bottom. Here's your converter for your 110 and 12 volt fuse. Carbon monoxide LP gas detector, Furion stereo, this is Bluetooth. You got your Furion fireplace, comes with the remote there. Here's your Dometic refrigerator. This has built in auto changeover mode, so when you turn it on, it's in the auto mode. It automatically determines where to draw power from. So we're plugged into 110 right now. It's gonna run off the 110. If I were to unplug it, then it switch to the battery and gas as a combination automatically. You've got a switch here to run your fireplace. Or microwave you can do one or the other you can't do them both at the same time so as you need to use the microwave you just flip the switch and then the power should transfer over and here we have your water heater access panel and water pump access all you have to do is just remove the drawer you gain access to your bypass valves and your water pump control 
The stove top has a built-in igniter for just the top. You will have to manually light the pilot for the oven. Got accent lighting in the bedroom. It's controlled by a switch that's directly underneath here. And then you do have your regular lighting in here as well. You got 110 receptacles on each side. The right side of the bed has 12 volt plug-ins. This does have a mounting bracket in the wall for a TV to be mounted. 110 receptacle on your cable inlet. So make sure that you do have this booster switch on here in order to pick up cable through your antenna, pick up a better radio signal. If that's off, it'll be a very crappy uh, reception. And then uh, make sure you turn that off when you're not using the unit because that will drain 12 volt power. This does have a pocket door for privacy. Just remove the snap tab here, it slides over. Make sure you lock it back in place for travel. That about wraps up the unit. Thanks for watching. Quick reminder, before you guys spend all day waxing this unit, this is a 2018 model, so we still do have the paint protection available. And you can also get the internal protection too for all your fabric and cloth products. And make sure while you're at it, you look at that extended warranty for all your appliances. Thanks for watching.